What exactly is the speed of light in Equestria? That seems like a bit of an irrelevant question, doesn't it? Since the MLP universe is literally filled with magic. But stick with me here. While the speed of light itself can vary, at its very maximum, it can only move at around 300,000 kilometers per second. As a result, there is pretty much always going to be a period of delay between when a particle of light is emitted and when we eventually see it. The size of this delay depends greatly on how far away the source of light is. Thus, if a star a thousand light years away suddenly moves, it's got to be a thousand years before we actually see that movement. That was what was running through my mind when I was considering the four moving stars that would eventually aid in Nightmare Moon's escape. You see, presuming the speed of light is consistent between both ours and the MLP universes leaves us with only a few options for explaining this phenomenon. It could be the stars were actually smaller and closer than they seemed, it could be someone magically sped up the light or warped space-time, or it could be those stars were actually moved up to a thousand years before their movement would eventually be seen from Equestria. Long story short, assuming the same speed of light in the MLP universe seems to imply that when Celestia banished Nightmare Moon, those stars may have been moved into their later positions at around the same time. Heck, this might actually have been done by the very same spell Celestia cast. Then, a thousand years later, the light of the stars moving would have finally reached the moon and somehow released the nightmare. Huh. So it turns out it really was Celestia. How this would have freed Nightmare Moon is not exactly certain. It could be the appearance of the stars moving was the actual key to the lock. Or it could be that the stars actually collided, releasing a huge pulse of energy moving at the speed of light, and that powered the Nightmare into freeing herself. It could even be the stars formed a convergence, a phenomenon known to channel a great deal of magic. Either way, the results are more or less the same. This framework seems to fit pretty well with both the MLP universe and the known laws of physics. Indeed, since finding a digital copy of Journal of the Two Sisters, it turns out past attempts at visually moving the stars have seemingly failed. Thus, it's entirely possible the speed of light actually has a real effect on what the inhabitants of Equestria can see. Of course, if we go down that route, we still have to explain Equestria's sun. Our sun is on average about 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles away. Thus, it takes just over 8 minutes for its light to reach our planet. If we somehow spun our sun around the Earth, we wouldn't know whether it had even moved until those 8 minutes had elapsed. In Equestria, it takes just a few seconds at most to see the sun moving. Now, since Star Swirl was the one who previously moved the sun, it's entirely possible he infused said spell with some element of time manipulation, which would account for the contradiction. The problem I have is that not only has the ability for magic to affect the past been very limited, but we know from the aforementioned chapter book that Starswell was moving the sun long before he created the time travel spell, so I don't know about that. Besides that, in order for the sun to be moved the way it is, we have two remaining explanations. Either the speed of light is much faster in the MLP universe, or the sun must be smaller and closer to the planet than in our universe. So, which is it? This is where I'm stuck. Knowing whether Equestria's speed of light is the same or faster than ours would have a huge impact on what we know of the MLP universe. But again, it's hard to really confirm anything. So where exactly do we go from here? Let me know what you'll think. Anyways, thank you.